Lent is a time of penitential practices as we prepare for the Easter celebrations. For many people, receiving the Sacrament of Reconciliation is an important part of this season and their spiritual preparation to celebrate the Resurrection of Christ. This week on At Home in Faith, Father Christian DiCarlo of the Muncie Pastorate discusses the Sacrament of Reconciliation with us and his own reflections on the importance of this Sacrament of Faith. The Sacrament of Confession. This is sometimes one of the most terrifying things and also one of the uh, most powerful things for many people because it is their true encounter with our living God as we bring our sins before him and we walk out the door forgiven and we know that we have been forgiven. This isn't uh, just a nice saying when you walk out the door but it is God's action working through the priest to give that true forgiveness, to give you grace and peace in your life. As we dive into this sacrament of confession, reconciliation, penance, has all these different names, uh, we will just try to go through what takes place, what is sin, and some of the misconceptions, the common uh, fears. So we will uh, dive into this sacrament today. As we begin, what is confession? Great question. Confession is where we go into sacramental confession. We go to the priest when we have committed a mortal sin. When we find that we have committed a mortal sin, our relationship with God has been damaged. We can look back to what this damaged relationship looks like when we go to the third chapter of Genesis back at the fall, where that relationship was ruptured, that was broken, that harmony and relationship with God has been ended. Not completely, don't get me wrong, but that that relationship has been hurt. What God has done as we are journeying through this time of Lent and, and celebrating our Lord's Passover, His resurrection, that He took on our punishment. You know, He died for us so that we, that relationship can be restored. This relationship uh, that God wants to heal. We can then and now go to him to have this relationship healed. When we have done something wrong, we've known it's wrong and we've done it anyway, we are cast out of the garden, but now God has given us a way to return to this great sacrament, to have this relationship restored. And that is what we call and what takes place in the sacrament of reconciliation. Now the question may arise, what do I do to prepare for this sacrament? How do I kind of know what to say when I go to confession? One of the best things we can do is what we call an examination of conscience. You've probably heard that before. But what does that mean? What does that look like? There are a couple different ways you can find many different examinations of conscience online. Um, two important ones come to mind though. The first is reviewing our life over the last uh, couple weeks, months, maybe it's been years. Looking over the Ten Commandments. Um, you know, the first three are about our relationship with God. The next seven are about our relationship with others. How have we done? Uh, how have we acted in our relationship with God? Have we put Him first? Uh, have we made time for Him on Sundays? Have we made our efforts to pray every day? How have we lived with others? Have we um, been proud? Have we been selfish? Uh, all of those things, looking at all of the, the commandments. Another way we can examine our conscience is through the Beatitudes. You know, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are uh, the meek. Um, just beautiful reflections for us about how we are to live our life um, and to be blessed by God. And if we failed in some of these areas, okay, that now we have the opportunity to go to Christ to be healed. If you are scared of going to confession, welcome to the club. It is normal uh, to be afraid of bringing your sins and telling them to somebody else. It is embarrassing. It's frightening. 
but to know that when we bring our sins and we tell them out loud, God is able to come into our hearts in those places where we are uh, very often hurt, um, but we are redeemed. So don't forget that. But it's a place where God wants to bring his healing. And he wants to bring his grace. He wants to bring his life into our souls. And we do this through the sacrament. If you're nervous, welcome to the club. It, it, it's something that we all experience. It's not normal to say all the bad things we've done. But when we are truly open, when we don't hide anything, God is able to, um, in an abundance of his love, bring us his mercy and forgiveness so that we can walk out the door with pardon and peace. So that we can be at peace. The weight of our sins is lifted and this relationship is restored. Some of the misconceptions uh, or maybe hesitations about the sacrament um, some of these misconceptions is the priest is going to tell everybody. Uh, he's going to go talk about everything that he heard in confession at the dinner table with the other priests. If we do that, the priest would be excommunicated. He would be kicked out of the church. We don't want that. I want to stay in the church. I want to continue to serve you. Uh, and, and all of us priests want to. We're here for you. We don't talk about what we hear um, in at the dinner table. We don't talk about it. And, and with each other, uh, we keep that between you and me and God. We don't talk about it with anybody. And frankly, we often forget. Just know that too. Uh, these um, these confessions and we are, it's just this privileged place uh, for us priests to be able to be with you, to bring you God's love, bring you his healing and his mercy. And it's a special and, and privileged time as a priest to be able to hear confessions and help people encounter the love of Christ. Some people ask, you know, why can't I just go straight to God? You are, uh, but it's through the priest. It's not, you know, Father DiCarlo forgiving you. It's Jesus Christ, the son of the living God who is forgiving you through the priest. Uh, and this is in what takes place in all the sacraments. It's not uh, Father DiCarlo baptizes you. It's Jesus who baptizes. And so if there's fear, if there's uh, hesitation, tell Jesus about it. Bring it to prayer and ask him to give you courage and strength to walk in that door. We're not going to yell at you. We're not going to be angry with you. But we are going to be there with you and to help you live a Christ-centered life. Uh, and Jesus will give you his grace, his love, his mercy. Uh, and to be your strength in your life uh, in the midst of your daily life. If it's been a long time, I want to invite you back. Come to confession, especially this season of Lent. Make this confession. Examine your conscience. Bring your sins and burdens before our Lord and that this relationship with Him that you have can be restored so you can be at peace uh, and you can make progress in your journey with Christ. Throughout this season of Lent, know that our Lord is waiting for you in the confessional to give you his love and mercy. Know my prayers for you. Have a blessed Lent. And when Easter comes, let us rejoice and know of our Lord and his love for you. God bless. Here are some reflection questions for you and your family this week. Why do you think God is so eager for us to ask for forgiveness and to extend forgiveness to others? How do you feel when you receive forgiveness from someone you have wronged, such as a family member? And what is keeping you from receiving the Sacrament of Reconciliation more often? What would help to overcome these obstacles? And here's a challenge for you and your family this week. Make a plan to regularly go to confession as a family. Choose a schedule that makes sense for you. Every one or two months is sufficient for most families. And then put it down in your calendar so you don't forget. From all of us at the Diocese of Lafayette in Indiana, may God continue to bless you and your family.